In the diagram, A, B, C, D, and E, lie in the circle center O, angle A, E, B, is 35 degrees, angle O, D, E, equals 28 degrees, and angle A, C, D, equals 109 degrees. Work out the following angles, I, angle E, B, D, I, I, angle E, A, D. Let's go ahead and solve. Angle EBD is an angle subtended at the circumference. Let's recall the circle theorem of angle subtends at the circumference. The angle at the center of a circle is twice the angle at the circumference. From this theorem, 2x is the angle at the center, and x is the angle at the circumference. And the angle at the circumference must always be half of the angle and the center. From the question, angle EOD is the angle at the center. It follows that, angle EBD is half of angle EOD. Let's call this equation 1. Since angle EOD is unknown, we need to calculate it first. From the figure, OD is equal to OE, reason, radii of the circle. Hence, triangle ODE is isosceles, and angle OED must be equal to angle ODE, which is 28 degrees. So that, angle EOD, will be 180 degrees minus, 2 times 28, which is 124 degrees. Reason. The sum of angles in a triangle is 180 degrees. Substituting the value of angle EOD, in equation 1, it follows that. Angle EBD equals 1 divided by 2 times 124. 124 divided by 2 is 62. Hence, angle EBD equals 62 degrees. Before we proceed, please subscribe to my channel to encourage me to make more videos. Thanks. To find angle EAD, we are going to use two methods. The first method is to recall the circle theorem of angles in the same segment. Angles in the same segment are equal. Considering the figure, a is in the same segment with B, and C is in the same segment with D. From the theorem, A is equal to B, and C is equal to D. From the question, angle EAD is in the same segment with angle EBD. Hence, angle EAD is 62 degrees. The second method, we also recall the circle theorem of angle subtends at the circumference. The angle at the center of a circle is twice the angle at the circumference. From this theorem, 2x is the angle at the center, and x is the angle at the circumference. And we already know that the angle at the circumference must be half of the angle at the center. Since we already have the angle at the center, which is 124 degrees, so angle EAD must be half of this angle. Hence, angle EAD equals 1 divided by 2 times 124, which is 62 degrees. Please subscribe to my channel to encourage me to make more videos, thanks.